he goes over to this dead carcass. And there's bees that have formed a hive, and he sees a honeycomb inside of this carcass. Now, I just want to ask all my outdoors people, have you ever stumbled across a deer carcass, a bear carcass, and anything carcass, and there was a beehive that had formed inside of it? And I will guarantee you the answer is no, because that's not natural. And he reaches and he says that he scooped out a handful of honey. Now, what you don't know about Samson is that he was a Nazarite. And part of his vow, part of his commitment to God was he was supposed to marry the right person, he couldn't drink, and he couldn't touch any dead thing. How in the world did the honey get there? That's the question you ought to ask yourself. How did the honey get there? Do you think it's possible that our enemy ever likes to put some sweet inside of some sour to draw you out, to tempt you, to reach into the rotten places for a temporary taste that will never satisfy you ultimately in the deepest parts of your soul. Do you think that's possible this morning? That, he, he, that Samson was tempted to reach inside of this rotting, dead carcass, I mean a place of death, in order to get a little bit of good. Oh, how did the honey get there? We're going to have to ask ourselves that question. How in the world did that honey get there? I mean, the naive Christian believes with all their heart that the assaults of our adversary are merely accidents. The, the naive Christian believes that the best laid plans of our enemy are just our bad luck. They, they believe that the enemy's concoctions are simply coincidences that they're experiencing. And like a fool, they're reaching down into dead things. They are reaching down into storm drains. Believing that somehow it's going to work out. Oh my gosh, how did that honey get there. Do you think it's a coincidence that that Facebook friend request popped up at just the right time when you and your wife were struggling in your marriage? Do you think it's coincidence that this person keeps on making excuses to contact you for extracurricular conversations that have nothing to do with the work project? Are we fools reaching into the drain?